So, initially, this tattoo just started out with me having a cancellation, putting a message out on Facebook, I think it was, saying I had a day, a cancellation, and um, I just fancied doing a portrait that day, just fancied seeing if somebody wanted a portrait and asking people who would they get, you know, who would they want to get tattooed, which portrait. Earlier that day, I'd already been looking at pictures online of Sugar Ray Robinson because I'm a massive boxing fan and he, you know, I think he's the greatest boxer of all time. I was looking at pictures of him and I was thinking, man, I wish someone would ever would get a tattoo of this guy, but like, who's going to ever get a tattoo of Sugar Ray Robinson? You know, you'd have to be a real serious boxing fan to even probably know who he is anymore. So anyway, I've been looking at pictures of him and I, it, it, it didn't even enter my mind that someone would ever want it done. I was like, oh, that's so... That'd be so cool if I could do that, but no one's ever going to get it done. And then, so I put the stuff out, and there were loads of cool um, replies and um, loads of cool people that uh, they wanted to get tattooed. And then, weirdly, um, this, the one guy ends up asking for a Sugar Ray Robinson portrait, and I was like, no way. Actually, it turned out in the end that two people asked for a Sugar Ray Robinson portrait, which was... Wow, it was insane. I did a design within about two hours of getting the message, I'd put a design together and sent it to the guy and he was like, holy shit, this is pretty quick. And uh, obviously we did the portrait, which is just the greatest thing for me because he's just one of my heroes. And like I said, I never thought I'd ever get the chance to do a portrait of Sugar Ray Robinson. In fact, when it came through that day, when the message came through, and I was like, no way, someone wants to get a Sugar Ray Robinson portrait, or I'm doing a Sugar Ray Robinson. Um, Leanne had a customer in and her husband, he thought I was tattooing someone called Sugar Ray Robinson. He didn't even know who he was, he was like a 40 year old man, he'd never even heard of him. So I was just thinking, well I guess no one really knows who he is anymore. But it all worked out in the end, thank you universe. And then in the end, when the guy came in, he, he was just like one of the easiest customers ever. Um, he immediately loved the design I put together. He's a super nice guy. You know, hopefully, I think we talked about maybe doing some other stuff on him in the future. Super easy going. Um, the tattoo just went on, you know, went on so easily. So it's just one of those um, perfect, perfect moments, really, or perfect tattoos. Um, sometimes it's a little bit. You know, it was cool because we only had that one day, but I really struggled to do a portrait just in one day. I really struggled to do any tattoo in one day anymore. I like to do things in um, two passes at least. Typically what I do is just try and block it in. I mean, I know I could if I worked, and I used to do it that way, I could work the skin a little bit more and take the thing to completion in one day. Maybe some people would disagree with that kind of process, but I always find that I like to go back to it another day when it's all healed and settled down 
darken up the dark, smooth out some of the shading and stuff like that. As cool as it was, it still can be a little frustrating when you have to leave the tattoo kind of half done. Um, but yeah, over the years, that's the kind of style I've developed. That's how I get like really smooth shading and stuff like that. I just work into the thing more than once. And uh, yeah, but luckily he was really cool about that as well. He's quite happy to um, come back another day and get it finished. So that's why, you know, oftentimes when you see in like a time lapse video and stuff that it's all done um, in one go, which I could have done that, but I prefer to do it this way. I prefer to work over the thing over two days. Plus, you know, he's going to be really um, exhausted. It's a long day getting a whole day tattooing. Um, it's probably if you overwork the skin, it's not going to heal so well and it's going to need touch-ups anyway. So I much prefer, with all my tattoos really, just to go in. I try and block stuff in as well as I can but without overworking the skin and then go back to it and make it perfect in a second pass.